All right, so welcome back. So for this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to play Hey, That's My Fish. Now this is a great, fun little game. Um, definitely little, for sure. I mean, look how big this game is. My hand is bigger than the box, practically. So it's not a very big box. It's a very fun, though. It's very fun, so it's, you know, they say sometimes uh, great things come in little packages. And this, uh, for this, board game for sure that would be the case so in this game which obviously has a lot to do with penguins um the object of the game is to try to collect you know the most fish and the person who has the most fish at the end of the game wins the game that's basically what you want to do now remember these are like ice flows here so it's all ice and so because of that the penguin's movement is actually only going to be in a straight line. Now, they can go in any direction they choose. So they can go this way, 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 and they can go this way, too. But they have to go in a straight line, okay? So you can't, like, go, like, for instance, you can't do your movement like this, for instance. That's not allowed. So this would be the farthest you could go, technically. Now, you st always have to set up the penguins starting on these tiles that only have one fish. And at the start of your turn, you're going to first move one penguin. You only move one of your penguins per turn. And so you'll move one, and you can move it as many spaces in one direction as possible. Now, I do say as possible, meaning that obviously this green penguin can only go, if it was going to go in this direction, this is the farthest it can go, right? Also, if, for instance, there was a penguin here, this penguin could only go so far in this direction, only that much in this direction, because other penguins block you from, you know, going in other directions. That includes your own. That includes your own penguins, that includes your opponent's penguins. They block you from continuing. And if there's, like, I don't know, a space in between all of these, like, let's say I was going in this direction, but now there's no ice flow here. Well, I can't get to this one because there's no ice flow, flow there. It's missing. And so, obviously, that would be the farthest I could go if that was the case, obviously. And so that's basically the movement of the game. Now, after you have moved from one location to another, okay, after you have moved from one location to another, and I'm not sure where I had this guy, but I'm guessing he was maybe here, or, um, yeah, the other one was here, and this one was here, that's right. Okay, so, the other thing you're going to do on your turn is, after you have moved your penguin... The tile that the penguin occupied last is going to be the one that you take. So you're actually going to take this one here. So the first tile you take, you're going to take is always going to be just one fish. Okay? But the tile that you stop at, the next turn after you move, that'll be the tile you take. So if I was to go from here to three fish, for instance, then on my next turn, after my turn was done, basically, I'd be taking this tile here with the three fish. So that's how that's going to work. Now the game ends when, obviously, as you're taking tiles, um, there's going to be less places for your penguins to go, and sometimes they'll even get cut off and won't have anywhere to go. When they, when a penguin can no longer go anywhere because it's basically been cut off, then it's removed from the game, and the tile it was sitting on is added to your collection, which is cool, right? So that means. Um, Every time you go to a new location with your penguin, you will most definitely get that fish, even if that's the last um, maneuver that penguin is going to make on a turn. So that's really cool. So um, let's go ahead and get started playing this game and showing you what I mean by how you play this game. So um, hold on here. I'm missing somebody. Ah, here he is. If you're going to play a game with penguins, you should always include a penguin buddy of yours. And Puddin hasn't joined us or joined me for quite some time playing um, these kinds of games. So we're going to add him here to the, to the game because he's going to be my opponent. And uh, let's actually lift up the, the camera a little bit 
so that way he can be visible as my opponent. Okay, so it'll be a little bit further out, but at least you'll be able to see him too, because, you know, he's part of this. So let's just make sure he is in the camera this time, since this is a game especially for him. Okay, so since he is the true penguin here, he is going to be going first in this game, and he is putting is in control of all of the blue penguins, and I'm in control of the green penguins. Now remember, this is you can have four players in this game, up to four, so that's cool. So let's get started. So Puddin, he is going to go from here to here. So he's going to collect the one fish from that location. Okay, and then he just adds it to his collection. Okay, so I am going to go from here to here. So I take this one. Puddin, where's Puddin going to go this time? Let's see here. Puddin... Decisions, decisions, decisions. Putin is going to go from here to here. So he's going to collect this one. All right. I am going to go... Um, let's see. Here to here. Okay. So I collect this one. All right, now it's Puddin's turn. Let's see here. Puddin's going to go here, and he's going to take that one. Okay. So let's see. Where do I want to go? I'm going to go here and take this one. Oh, sorry, buddy. Let's get you back up. There we go. Okay, so now it's Puddin's turn. Let's see here. Puddin, where's Puddin gonna go? Um, he's gonna go here now before he loses his penguin, obviously. So he'll go there. You know, because I could have cut him off. I could have gone here and trapped him there. But, you know, that would have been in very intentionally mean. I suppose that's the point of the game. But, uh, you know, maybe later as we... Uh, there's. As there's less places to go, that will be more funner to do anyway. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. I think, I think I'm gonna go here to here and take that one. Okay, so now it's Puddin's turn. Let's see, Puddin. Hmm. Well, I think Puddin's gonna go here. So he'll take this one. There we go. So that's his now. Okay, so now it's my turn. So let's see here. Um, I think I'll take and move this guy here and take this one. I'm trying to keep it so the ice flow doesn't completely disappear but we'll see how that strategy works okay so now it's Puddin's turn Puddin is gonna go right here and he's gonna take that one and I think we'll move this guy um, here and take this one And uh, this guy is going to go from here. Puddin's going to go here to here and take this one. So now he's essentially cutting this section off. So um, once these are gone, this will be cut off here. So going in this direction is a bad idea. So obviously I'm not going to do that now. So I think before I lose this guy, I'm going to get him out of here and go, um, go here. And he was, um, where was he? Was he here or here? I can't remember. I think he was here, right? Yeah, he was here. So I'll take that one. Okay, so Puddin, it's, it's his turn. So, oh, he's going to be mean. He's going to go right here and cut off my penguin. <laughs> Smart move. Smart move, because now I can't go anywhere with that one except that direction. 
So before he can make a maneuver like that, I'm going to go with go here. Okay. So now at least I can try to go for these with that with that penguin, even if that's all I'm going to get with that penguin. Um, so I'll still be able to get some fish with that one. So that's always good. Um, okay, so... I think we'll go from here to... Yeah, I think we'll go from here to here. Because this is all the twos and threes are. There's not many threes and twos left in the middle. So this will work out perfectly because now he can't really come over here and take these from me. So I'll be able to kind of quietly acquire these for sure. Because there's no way he's going to get one over here in time now. So um, now it's Puddin's turn. So he'll go here to here. And take this one. And I'm going to go here and take that one. All right, now it's his turn. So let's see here. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, which way do I want to go? I pretty much can save these guys for later because they're safe. They can take their tiles at leisure. So these are the two I need to focus on the most right now before they get cut off. So... Let's see here. I'm going to go, first of all, I'm going to go here and cut off, try to cut off him from that direction. So now it's Puddin's turn. Obviously, he wants to get his guy out of there, if at all possible. So even though he it's tempting to go for the two fish, he's going to go for the one so he doesn't get stuck there, obviously. And before I lose this guy, we're going to move him over here and take that. Okay, now it's Puddin's turn, and he is going to cut me off. He's going to take that one, and he's going to get that one. Now, that one is stuck. He is stuck there, because as soon as this penguin moves from this spot, he's going to be trapped there. So, um, for now, he I'm not going to bother with it, because he's not, he's not going anywhere anyway. So, the only one I can really move that I need to move is this one here. So... Let's move him here, so that way he'll be in the middle, safe and sound. Okay, now it's Puddin's turn. Um, Puddin's going to take that one there. Okay, now it's my turn again. I'm going to take this one now. Now Puddin's going to go, and he's going to go here. All right. So now we've really cut everyone off. We're going to have to make some maneuvers here pretty soon. Um, uh, Puddin is going to go over here. And now that one is completely cut off. We'll save him for later, though. Or I guess he's out of the game, actually. Now he's technically out of the game, so he's just going to get removed from the game. And I'm going to get that tile. It won't matter if I... It does, I don't think it really matters. I don't think this really counts as a turn because I'm going to get that tile anyways. So we'll go ahead and take my turn now. Um, I'm going to go... I can't go up, obviously. So let's go down with this one here. And take that. Oh, that's mine. So now he's got a dilemma. He can go here with that penguin, obviously. He's going to want to because, um, yeah, that's what he's going to do. So let's do that. He's going to do that, and he gets that one. Okay. So now, let's see here. All of my guys pretty much have nowhere to go now. So I guess we'll take and move this guy here and take that one. Okay. And obviously this one is... Uh, gone and dealt with. So, he'll move that one up. Take that one. And I will start taking these now. And, uh, obviously he's going to start taking these. And I'll go here. Take this one. And, uh, I'll go here and take that one. 
and now he's cut that one off basically okay and I'll go here take that one and now he's out of the game so two penguins left for me um, now he's only only got one choice with this one so he'll just go here take that and now he'll take that that's his first penguin out of the game and these two obviously will not be taken by anybody okay so I guess I'll go here take that one and he'll go here take that one and this one is gonna be cut off obviously Okay, cool. And obviously that's gonna go there. And that's gonna go there. And that's going to go there. And that's gonna go there. And that's gonna go there. And he's gonna go there. And I get this one. He's gonna go there. He's gonna take that. And then obviously he's gonna get that one as well. And then he's gonna go there and get these. So that's the whole game. Pretty easy, right? Pretty simple. We got this game completely won in less than um I wanna say in about ten minutes it took to play this game with two players. That's not bad. And I think it would be even faster with more players because um, in the beginning of the game, not so much because you're strategically going to be moving penguins around. But I think at like mid game to end game, penguins are really going to be trapped for where they can go. And so it really won't be much of a decision of where you're going to be moving your penguins because it's going to be like, oh, you can only go one up. You can only go one that direction. You can only go one that direction. So, anyways, um, and only two of the fish were not taken. So I don't know who's going to win this, obviously, but uh, you know what? We will have to count up the score and see who wins. All right, so Puddin here, he had 46 points, where I had 52 points. So I win the game. I beat Puddin for this game. But it was a good game. It was definitely close, and uh, it's kind of hard to figure out exactly and keep track of who's going to win this game. I don't think you're really going to know who's going to win this game until the game is over, because there's just so many fish uh, being given out to players. It's pretty easy to determine. Pretty hard to determine who would win until the game is over. So, But it was a good game, and, it was, and Putin was a worthy opponent. Yes, he's probably a little miffed or upset that he couldn't win a game that's all about, well... Him, for instance. But there's always next time, Puddin. I'm sure you'll beat me next time. In fact, I usually lose to my uh, animal buddies, especially uh, Manta. I usually lose to Manta, or Ridley for that matter, so I'm surprised I won this game. But uh, it was definitely a lot of fun. This is definitely an icebreaker game <laughs> in more ways than one. Thematically, it's definitely an icebreaker game. But I think just in, in general, I think... Um, it's an icebreaker game before you play a bigger, more uh, strategic game. This is a good one to just open up and kind of get everyone into gaming for the day. This is a good starter. Or if you just don't have much time, or at, maybe after you play a bigger strategic game and you only have maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes at most, and that's, that's at most, to continue playing games, this one is definitely one to uh, definitely bring to the uh, to the party, so to speak, to the board game group for sure. And so um, if you guys watched this video and liked it all the way through, gameplay and how to play and all that, don't hesitate to leave a like for this game. Remember, this is an older game for sure, so it's been around a while and it's still a great game. It's still awesome. It still looks awesome. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.